What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a rewind effect in Vegas Pro 14. So as you can see I have a video up from the super speed effect I showed you in Vegas Pro 14. If you want to check that out a link to it will be in the description. And what we're going to do is make it rewind. Now the way we do this we need to find a part where we want the rewinding to happen. So for example I want mine to rewind right back to this part. So right now I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it. Then I'm going to come across to a part where I'm going to begin the rewind. And I'm going to begin the rewind right here. And I'm going to press S on my keyboard again. And then we can delete all the remaining on the right hand side. What we do from here, we control C to copy this. Then we press control V to paste it back in. Then we right click it and select reverse. As you can see it's now reversed. And then we hold control and simply bring this back like so. So that means it's rewinding faster. Then we press Ctrl C on this video again, the original, come back to this side and press Ctrl V. Now, as you'll see, this gives us the effect that we've just rewinded. So if I play this through, as you'll see, then it rewinds and then it goes back from the start where we took off. So I'm actually gonna extend this out a little bit more than it actually is and now as you can see, it puts us back to that position like we rewinded and then it restarts again. And now we're going to add the effects to it. Now the first one is an overlay which I will link in the description. As you can see it's just VHS overlay. I'm just going to simply sync this up to the part where we are rewinding which is right here. Then we need to head over to video effects. If you don't see it then simply select view, windows layout and select default layout. Now from video effects we're going to look for mask generator which is right here. Just drag and drop the default one on. As you can see, this is what you'll get. And bring up the low just a little bit. And you can also bring the low out up a bit if you want to. And I'm also gonna bring the high out down. And there we go, that's how I want it. So I'm gonna X out of it. And now as you'll see, if I just play this through, we have these lines as if we were winding. And of course, we're gonna make it look even better. So the next thing we're going to do is head over to video effects again and this time we're going to come down to the bottom and add on TV simulator. And this time this is going to be dragged and dropped onto the video itself. And we're going to have the aperture grill all the way down, the insulating just about here, line sync and vertical sync we don't touch just yet. This one right here, we can turn it all the way down, we don't really need it, it's optional. And then we have static which is also optional but I recommend having it. Now I'm going to set this to best and full so we can see how good it will actually look. And that is how I'm going to have it. I'm then going to press the animation button down here. And I'm going to make sure sync cursor is checked. I'm going to come across to the end and simply lay down a keyframe. Then I'm going to come back to the first keyframe and I'm simply distort the video like this. So I'm going to bring down the line sync just like that. And that is how I will have it for now. So I'm going to X out of this. Now since my video is already rendered with black bars you will see that the uh, phasing is going over the black bars and of course we don't want that. So we're going to fix that very quickly. First of all we're coming to the event pan and crop and then we're simply going to come to the mask and we're going to mask it out. You can see a mistake I made here. I was already uh, a couple frames ahead so we're going to delete the first keyframe and drag this one back to the first keyframe like that. We're going to X out of it and then we're going to do the exact same thing to the video. We're going to come to the masking, make sure we're on the first keyframe and we're simply going to mask out the video so the black bars don't have all the effects on it. Just like this. So now I'm going to X out of it. I'll set this back to preview and auto and we'll play this through. There we go, that is what we wanted. Now one more effect just to make this sound or look even better. We're gonna mute the audio by pressing U and just deleting it like so. And we're gonna add this sound effect right here. Now I will link this in the description. Uh, it's pretty difficult to find where it starts because as you can see, there's no line audio, like you can see the audio waves. So we just have to play through and find it. So I think it starts right here. I'm gonna simply put this into place there press S, delete the remaining, and I like to put this louder because it is very quiet. So now let's play this through.
There we go. Just adding that little sound effect just makes it look sound and sound so much more better. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.